everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you notice your audio is crackling or popping on your Windows 10 computer. If you're noticing crackling, static, or different popping sounds when you are using your Windows 10 computer in regards to the audio output. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in Device Manager. Best result should come back with Device Manager. Go ahead and left click on that. Double click on the Audio Inputs and Outputs. And then locate the speakers and go right click on it and select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers. And then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the one that is highest on the list, otherwise you can select the generic software device driver, however I would recommend selecting the most applicable one that's most clearly defined, so generic is always a backup, but I'd recommend going with whatever is the primary one recommended here. And then select next, select close, close it here. Another thing you can try would be to change the power plan settings, so we're going to bump up the power performance settings to high performance. Please note that if you are using a laptop or a tablet device, this may decrease your battery life a little bit. But otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and continue with this video. If you're using a desktop, it shouldn't really affect anything to that extent. It shouldn't really affect your power consumption very much. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in control panel. Best result should go back with control panel. So go ahead and left click on that. So you view by two large icons and then select power options. Make sure underneath preferred plans, select high performance. So go ahead and just change it to high performance. Very simple. And then once you're done with that, you go ahead and just close out of here. You would need to restart your computer and then that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do advise you to help me out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.